Parsons for criticizing the project. Chase Green affirmed that the contract will not be shared prior to its implementation in fear of it being snatched from the council. It is my strong view that there is a group of individuals who wish to snatch this project and all of its benefits from the council and citizens for their own private enterprise and personal gains. This council will not continue into that and it will not happen under my watch. Again, we took a deliberate decision not to share the contract because we wanted to secure the investment. Since November, the city has signed a contract with Smart City Solutions Inc., a company collaborating with National Parking Systems to install solar-powered parking meters in the critical areas. I, along with councillors Oscar Clark and Junior Garrett, Tom Clark, Royston King, are satisfied with the bona fides of Smart City Solutions. We have verified. She reiterated the right of the council in keeping with Chapter 2801 to proceed with developmental works for the local government authority they oversee. As we speak, speak parking meters are being processed for shipping to Georgetown to allow, to allow the project to begin on schedule. There will be widespread publicity, public awareness and public education on the simple steps to use the equipment. All such matters would be managed by the City Council. Responding to questions from the media, Town Clerk Royston King noted that Guyanese will afford to pay for parking in his view. The point I want to make is that we are not particularly concerned about the payment because we know that Guyanese have the ability to pay, but it will not be 125 per rotation, it will be less. Condemning